Hey guys, Kidgur here with another Tech World Challenge video. It's your challenge. Are you up for it? So I have another video to, for you today. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit different. It's on personal information, PIM, uh, managing your personal information and keeping organized. I know a lot of people don't like to get organized, but really, uh, I know I'm, I myself was like that. But if you really take the time to organize, not just both, you know, not papers on your desk or anything like that, but both digitally and in the real world, it really comes out and helps, guys. Uh, you know, you're easy to access your files, your whatever you need and there goes my clock <laughs> sorry about that but you know it really go help, go uh, if you go out of the way to organize whatever it really does come back and help in the long run so uh, really just to give this a chance you know try out some of these sites and tips and you never know so why do you want to go about doing this in a type of you know technology show environment well obviously you want to manage your content you want to let your viewers your community know you're still alive and you're still posting content out there so let's say you make, you know, one video for the month. You know, you don't have to necessarily, I understand some people are busy, they can't make as many videos in the month, but it really doesn't take that long, guys. You can make, probably make like three or four videos in a month. I know, I used to make five videos a day back in the day. Uh, I had a lot of time on my hands, but, um, you know, if you can't, you know, I really learned that if you can't post a video uh, within, you know, a couple weeks, then do it by means of, microblogging or anything like that. Uh, write a Twitter update that says, hey, I'm still here, so all your viewers know that you're still there, you're, you know, uh, and if not everybody follows you on Twitter, they'll give them another reason to follow you. So, I mean, it really helps out if you just keep your viewers up to date and keep them on a, you know, scheduled type of basis. So, it really helps out in managing your inf personal information and all your, you know, tasks, to-dos, etc. So, how can you go about doing this? Well, ultimately, the net. That's all I want to say, you know, the net. But this breaks up into a couple things, and that's why I'm going to show you a couple services real quick. Like I said, Twitter is one way. Um, remember the milk. I haven't talked about this, but it manages your tasks, and you can actually, you know, it goes into BlackBerry, Twitter, Google Gears, which is offline access, and Google Calendar. Get it on your iPhone. So it's really cool. I mean, it's really, really awesome, awesome application. I downloaded the desktop app. You can do it by means of just the web. It in integrates all your to-dos, tasks, and, you know, I, I myself, I used to write a lot of to-do lists and just never do them. Uh, you know, it really helps if, you know, it's just right there and it's annoying you and it won't go out of the way. That way, you'll get it done and do it. Uh, so, you know, remember the mail can even email you, so, you know, it nags you enough to get you to do it. <laughs> Evernote. Evernote is really great for taking notes across, you know, just whatever you want to take it on. Your phone, your the web different OS's on your desktop, OS 10 or Windows. You, I've done a previous video on this, so make sure to check it out. I'll try and make an annotation pop up right about now. And it's really, really great. You can find one thing, sync it to your Evernote account, and it goes into the cloud, and you can access it anywhere. So this is really, really cool. Get Evernote for your iPhone if you want. So check this out. Evernote, really, really, really great application. Watch this video to see the full power of Evernote. And as it says there, Windows, Mac, Web, and Mobile. Or even your home page. My home page is iGoogle. This sh shows about all the data I need. My date and time, the weather, my RSS feeds for Google Reader, my, you know, uh, another couple of RSS feeds, my Gmail, and remember the milk is over here. So it's really, really cool, guys. iGoogle, very, very, very handy home page tool. Now, those are just me by means of websites and stuff like that, and, you know, mobile and desktop applications, but what if I wanted to go into clients? Now, there's two ways you can go about here. Uh, clients, whether it be browser or email. Some people like to load up their browser, Firefox, with a lot of add-ons. Uh, I don't really like doing that. I like doing it by means of client, email clients like Outlook or Thunderbird. I just happen to use Thunderbird. Okay, so this is handles three of my uh, email addresses, and... You know, it has all my email in it, but then on here it has my events because of add-ons I have. I'll quickly show you the add-ons I have for Thunderbird. I have Fox Clocks, Lightning, Provider for Google Calendar, and Tiny Menu. This is Lightning right here. Now, I know it's just a little simple sidebar, but it breaks into even more things. So it shows all the events I have. I can make a new event. And this is what else Lightning does. It shows me invitations. I can click Calendar, and bam, it changes Thunderbird's interface to a calendar. It shows all my events that I have planned out for the week. I can hit tasks, all the tasks I have planned, calendars I have from Gmail, my tech world calendar, my personal calendar, and I can go back to my mail if I want to. All simply with that add-on. Fox Clocks is another add-on I have. It has all the time across the web, I mean <laughs> the web across the world I should say. 
so I can keep up, you know, with, and since I'm in Japan, I have other people who live in the States, and I want to know what time zone they are in, so I can, you know, give them a call on Skype or anything like that, I just want to make sure I'm not, you know, interrupting them when they're sleeping, stuff like that, so Fox Clocks comes in handy. So, see, just a service like Thunderbird or Outlook that you totally tweak out and, you know, organize really goes a long way because you get everything in one client. So, guys, uh, you know, Personal information can deal with address books, contact info, Skype info, email, you know, addresses, files, folders, papers, whatever it needs to be. Uh, there's a lot of services I already showed. There's a whole Google Office service you can check out, you know, gears, docs, everything. So, guys, really take advantage of organizing your data and, you know, just getting it all riled up, riled up and organized. So, it really goes a long way in the future to help you out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next video. And with that, guys, keep up with the challenge. Y'all doing a great job following along with the content and subscribing to my Twitter and stuff like that. Thanks for listening. Catch you guys in the next video.